attention and listen to me. Only those wise enough will see the kings who close as they were meant to be. Uh -huh. And this is how it's gonna be. The threads are only for the wise to see. So let's get started with our spinning bee. Uh -huh. We're gonna stitch, stitch, stitch and sew. We're gonna weave up high and weave down low. We're gonna make the coolest bags you've ever seen. We're gonna cut, cut, cut and hem. We're gonna gather in and tuck and trim. We're gonna make the slickest thread fit for a key. Now you know it takes a lot of skill. To stitch and sew just right But when they're done with the magic suit It's gonna be a sign We're gonna cut, cut, cut and hem We're gonna gather in and tuck and trim We're gonna make the slickest threads fit for a king Now raise your right arm above your head Lean to the left till you turn in bed Straighten up, look around and take a walk Now snap your fingers, bend down low Take four steps from heel to toe Hop on back, you're doing the emperor rock Everybody! Now raise your right arm above your head Lean to the left till you turn in red Straighten up, look around and take a walk Now snap your fingers, bend down low Take four steps from heel to toe Hop on back, you're doing the emperor rock Hop on back, you're doing the emperor rock These indeed must be splendid clothes. If I had a suit made of this magic cloth, I could find out at once who was wise and who was foolish. This stuff must be woven for me immediately. That's a jolly idea. Why didn't I think of that? Good show. Let's get on with it. Guards, help the weavers get set up. Give them anything they want. The finest silks and golden thread, anything their looms will hold. Let the weaving begin. And so, the two scoundrels made a show of working at their looms, though in reality there was nothing on them at all. And the emperor gave them large sums of money to help them complete the job. They were given the finest silk and the purest gold thread which they put into their own knapsacks, and then continued their pretended work at the empty looms until late at night. I wonder how the weavers are doing. Just fine, I should think. Wouldn't you like to see? Father told us to stay away. With all those silks and gold? Don't even think about it. The colors must be fabulous. Let's go. Shh, don't let them know we're here. Okay, don't push. They look really busy. Yeah, but I don't see anything. Look harder. Remember wisdom. Okay, but I just don't see. Where do I look? What am I looking for? You have to look very carefully at the looms. The material is very light and delicate and difficult to see, but it's beautiful and shimmers in the light. I still don't see. Well, you have to picture in your mind golds and pastels that are so beautiful that they only live in your imagination. Then... Look again, closely. Squint your eyes until they are almost shut and think noble thoughts. And then, then if you try hard enough and are sincere enough, you will see the magical material begin to shimmer and shine with the most radiant of colors. <laughs> 